I've had lots of feedback that people are more concerned and some people are downright scared. Denny Roy of the East-West Center has studied Asia-Pacific security issues. He says the North Koreans want the capability to launch nuclear missiles, but they don't actually want to use it. They have every reason to want to scare us, to want us to change their policy toward them, forcing us to do so by their having the capability of firing a nuclear weapon against us. While the risk may be low, anxiety is increasing. I was kind of a little worried because my family, I was in Guam, so a lot of my friends are in Guam. Enough that the state's emergency management agency is preparing a campaign to inform the public what to do if there were a nuclear attack. Because it's been such a long time since we've prepared for any kind of nuclear thing, to make the public aware of what to expect and what to do in that event. The agency is planning to have public service announcements on what to expect and how to prepare, even though experts say it would take just 20 minutes for missiles to reach Hawaii. With the increasing talk about the possibility of North Korean missiles being able to reach Hawaii, could this impact the state's largest moneymaker? The Hawaii Tourism Authority believes it could. The HTA says it supports efforts to prepare for any threat, but it also says if reports are misinterpreted about the state's need to prepare for an attack, travelers and groups could stay away from Hawaii. However, visitors we spoke to today are undeterred. Why would you allow somebody to threaten us to that level? Not going to happen.